right. I was never sleeping. That that was a. Like you were asleep. Yeah. Okay. But I've de I've determined that I wasn't asleep. Okay. Well, you're not going to ID me, and unless there's a complaint on a private lot, I don't need to move my car. Is there a reason why you're recording? Of it's just my right to document. Is there a reason why that you won't identify yourself? I I don't need to. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. This is Casey Corner. Casey chose to park in the shade, which was cast across three parking spots in a Safeway parking lot in Santa Cruz, California. While waiting for his friend who was conducting business in one of the nearby stores, Casey was approached by local law enforcement officers. I'm not harassing you. Parked across four lanes. But there's no complaint. There doesn't have to be. Yes, there does, man. This is a private lot with no complaint. Like, you don't have any jurisdiction on a private lot. And you're asking me for my ID? I don't have to give you my ID. Like, you're, you're wasting so, your time and my time at this point. And here's how it is. I'm just doing a welfare check on you to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I told you I'm fine. I, I already told you that. Jurisdiction over private property is a very gray area. The legality of enforcement of traffic and parking violations vary from state to state. Generally, a petition is required to the jurisdiction to place handicapped, stop signs, and other traffic signage on one's private property. That code and petition gives law enforcement the ability to enforce law on your private property. For a parking violation, much like a murder, police do not need a complainant to investigate or charge a suspect. The only requirement needed is probable cause. During the construction of the property, it is likely that the owner granted jurisdiction to the local law enforcement agency. If the officer pushed this issue, he could have easily detained Mr. Corner and issued him a citation, but instead, the officer changes his tactics and claims to be making a welfare check on the grounds that he thought Casey was asleep. And here's how it is. I'm just doing a welfare check on you to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I told you I'm fine. I, I already told you that. All right. I was never sleeping. That that was a... like you were asleep. Yeah, okay. But I've, de I've determined that I wasn't asleep. Okay, you're parked across three parking spots right now. Right. I just want to ID you. I, I understand that. Let, let you go on your way. Well, you're not going to ID me, and unless there's a complaint on a private lot, I don't need to move my car. I'm not harming anybody. It's, it's, this is a victimless situation. Can you speak a little bit? I can't hear you with the truck. Th this is a victimless situation. I'm on a private lot. I'm not harming anybody. I've declined the ID. I, I'm being harassed at this point. Unless you want to detain me, I suggest you go on your way. You don't have any jurisdiction here. All right, so you have a good day. Thank you. After determining that Casey was in sound condition, the officer ends his welfare check, only to have a fellow officer approach Mr. Corner to continue the investigation. What's going on, man? Just so you know, we yeah. have a trespass letter on file with this property and this property management. Uh huh. So if you aren't doing business or anything else here, they don't want anybody here. That's just for your info, okay? Okay. So you have a good Thanksgiving. Take care of yourself. Yeah. All right. And then uh, hopefully you'll get on your way and enjoy yourself. Yeah, my, my friend just called. I'm going to meet up. I'm just hanging out waiting for my friend, so. Sounds good. Is there a reason why you're recording? Of it's just my right to document. Absolutely, and I love people that do. You know, yeah, like yeah. to make sure that police officers do their job correctly and everyone's treated fairly. So yeah, I yeah. appreciate that you do. Yeah, yeah. Is there a reason why that you won't identify yourself? I I don't need to. Okay. I have the right not to identify if I if I don't choose to. And do you know those laws and everything else so that you actually are correct in regards to that? Yeah, absolutely. Do you mind informing me? Well, I mean, we have a right as a as a man on the land to not have to conform to. A government if there's no crimes being committed and, and no no rights being violated does that make sense in the supreme court case of terry v ohio the fourth amendment provides the right of the people to be secure in their persons houses papers and effects against all unreasonable searches and seizures this inestimable right of personal security belongs as much to the citizen on the streets of our cities as to the homeowner closeted in his study to dispose of his secret affairs Absolutely. Do you, you know, know that the penal code book's probably also like that big in the state of California when Did you, you know sign the... to get your driver's license that you're also signing to identify yourself to police officers and everything else like that? On a public road, correct. But the, a you're private situation. On private property, which gives us even more right. That's why I said we have a trespass letter on file. But if there's a cause for a complaint, you know, I'm, I'm doing yeah, business here. I just haven't, I haven't, you know, I'm waiting for a friend. I'm just letting you know. So when yeah. you start videotaping and then you start questioning and everything else. Yeah, yeah. If you're doing it on private property, it's mm -hmm. a little bit different because we actually have a trespass letter on file that says that we can contact anybody, we can tow vehicles out of here, we can say if you're not doing business out of here, you can go because the property owner doesn't want all that stuff here. So when we're actually contacting mm -hmm. you, we basically already have 
I got you. The video abruptly ends there, and I have not been able to contact Mr. Corner. Regardless, with a parking violation, there is no legitimate law enforcement need to seize the car or its passengers. Typically, an officer leaves a ticket on the windshield since the car is already stopped, but a majority of judges on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals disagree. The district court held that the issuance of a parking ticket is a process that entails a brief seizure of the car and its occupants. In applying Terry v. Ohio, which is grounded in the standard of reasonableness embodied in the Fourth Amendment, the court balances the nature and quality of the intrusion on personal security against the importance of the governmental interests alleged to justify the intrusion. When the governmental interest is based on a car parked incorrectly on private property, the balance looks very different from the balance in Terry. The alleged governmental interests pale in comparison to the intrusion on personal security in this seizure. Based on the officer's attitude towards filming, it is likely that they were conducting a fishing expedition, using the parking violation as a means to investigate other possible crimes. Mr. Corner did not provide his ID to the officers and was not issued a citation. For more information and possible updates to this story, I suggest you head over to Casey Corner's channel and subscribe. While you're there, let him know that I sent you. Thank you for watching. If you have an interaction you'd like me to review, email it to me, or submit it through Facebook Messenger. Those links are down below. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction, and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.